Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to embed web pages or vanilla HTML in your Flutter app using WebView widget. Before we start the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest AI news and Flutter tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be using this WebView package which you can find in pub.dev. Next, go to installing and copy the latest package dependency version. To use this package in your Flutter application, you just have to add this package dependency version in your Flutter project pubspec.yaml file. So here I have created a simple Flutter application that has an elevated button only. Currently, the on press function of the elevated button is empty. So now I will create a navigation to a new route that display the web view widget. And the navigation will happen when the elevated button is pressed. Here, I will name the new route as web view container and it will return a new widget class. You can use any route navigator that you prefer. Next, I will be creating the new widget class file. Don't forget to import the new widget class into the main file. So in the new widget class, it will return a simple scaffold widget with an app bar and the web view widget will be returned in the scaffold body parameter. So it will take up the whole body space of the scaffold widget, which is basically the remaining space of the device. Since we have not created the web view widget yet, so the body will remain empty for now. In order to create WebView widget, firstly, we have to create an initialize WebView controller. And the WebView controller should be initialized before build method, so it can be displayed in the current screen. In Flutter, controller initialization and widget initialization is slightly different, as controller doesn't initialize by parameter, but by method. For more insight about WebView controller methods, you can check out to that official documentation about WebView controller. So in that official documentation about WebView controller, it stated that you are required to pass this controller to a WebView widget to display the WebView. While you can scroll down and you will see all the methods that are available for this controller. For example, they provide clear cache method and clear local storage method for the web view. Not only that, you can also get the scroll position. Most important methods for web view is that it allows you to load HTML file on your device, load assets from your postpack.yaml file, load vanilla HTML, and load web pages from URL. Just now, we have created a web view controller. Now I will show you how to initialize this controller to display web pages from URL. Firstly, we will execute a method called set JavaScript mode and JavaScript mode will be set to disable. Disabling JavaScript can enhance the security of your app by reducing the risk of malicious script executing within the web view. JavaScript is a powerful scripting language that can be used to perform action that may compromise user data and perform unauthorized action. By disabling JavaScript, you can minimize the potential attack surface. Seems like we are getting compilation error here. Let me check what's wrong with the code. Alright, I set the controller variable to a widget class instead of the web view controller class. Let me change it quickly. Alright, so the red line disappeared. If you wonder what is the two dots for, it's actually called cascade notation, which allows you to chain multiple methods called on the same object. So in this case, firstly, it will create a web view controller object. Then with the object, it will execute the below methods in a chain sequence. Coming back to JavaScript mode, it actually provides other selections such as unrestricted and values. Setting which mode depends on the specific goals and requirements of your app. For example, if you are displaying secure web pages or HTML code that you own, you can set the mode to unrestricted. By doing that, the JavaScript code embedded in the web pages that you loaded into the web view will have full access to the web environment, including interacting with DOM and making network requests. Next, we have to load the web pages from URL by calling load request method. 
This method will make a specific HTTP request and loads the response in the web view. Now I will parse Flutter web page URL into URI type. You can replace this URL string with any website URL that you wish to display in the web view. So now we have done creating and initializing web view controller. To display web view, we just have to pass this controller into web view widget. At this point, web view container screen is done. The final step is to add navigation in the elevated button on press function. So here we just have to add a simple push navigation to web view container screen. This is because we have set the web view initialization before build method in the container screen. So it should automatically initialize and display when we navigate to that screen. So this name routes is initialized above. We can now test in the simulator. Yup, it works perfectly. As you can see in the simulator, Flutter web page is displayed as a web view widget instead of a web browser. So this is how you display web pages through web view widget in your Flutter application. However, I would like to show you another way of loading web view content, which is by loading vanilla HTML code into web view widget. So here I have prepared a custom HTML script. Now I will show you how to load this custom vanilla HTML script into web view widget. For loading HTML script, we can no longer use load request method. Instead, we have to use load HTML string method and pass the HTML script into the method. This is a sample HTML script that I have created. You can upload any plain HTML code that requires for your application. This feature is usually used for displaying in-app marketing campaign banner. Now I will show you how it looks in the simulator. So as you can see, in the simulator, it successfully displayed my HTML code. As a summary, in today's tutorial, we have learned how to create a web view controller, how to initialize a controller, how to load web page URL into web view controller, and how to load vanilla HTML code into web view controller to be displayed in Flutter application. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.